I have often challenged attorneys and my fellow judges to ask themselves when faced with cases of cruelty and injustice, what's more important, giving in when you know you're right or standing up for something even if you have to stand alone? I challenge them to ask themselves, what makes a person truly free and what makes life worth living? I know that when it comes to the Church of Scientology and the Citizens Commission on Human Rights, you have already answered these questions. There is nothing more important in life than being true to yourself and standing up for what you believe. That is freedom, and that's what makes life worth living. And that, to me, is what you represent. That is who you are. The Church of Scientology is truly a leader when it comes to fighting for the civil rights of those subject to abuse by the so-called mental health laws and those that enforce them. And I respect your struggle to abolish coercive practices in the field of mental health and to restore human dignity and freedom to all people. It is my great pleasure to join you here today on behalf of the state of Washington and to celebrate the grand opening of the new Church of Scientology of Washington State. As a, a state elected official, it has always been my purpose to represent the values and the views of the citizens. I believe there are values we all look for in one another, like fairness and justice and tolerance and our right to each of those as individuals. And what we're really talking about when we say those words is human rights. I have been a long time fighter for workers' rights, for women's rights, for education rights. And that's where the Church of Scientology comes into place. As your founder expressed it, human rights must be made a fact, not an idealistic dream. So well, I want you to know that I am on board to do just that by making human rights a fact. 